Salawam. First and foremost, we'd like to give our honor, our praises, our glory to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rakak Badash, Yahweh, the Heavenly Father, who the Word only calls God, Yahweh Shai, the only begotten Son, who the Word only calls Jesus Christ. We'd like to say the water, thank you to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, for the Rakak Badash, the Rakak Badash is the Holy Spirit, which is the driving force behind these videos. All right, just want to do a quick lesson, real quick lesson. Uh, about this article that you see on the screen, just flipping through some um some news sites. All right, this is off RT. All right, and um, it's going in on inflation. So I'm uh read a little bit of this and bring out a couple of scripts. All right, it says inflation in Latin American nation soars past a hundred percent. It says overspending and historic drought have sent prices in Argentina surging to the highest in two de decades. All right, overspending, which meaning these people are having to spend so much of the currency that is uh it's not good. It says inflation in Argentina saw a, saw an enormous year on year surge to one hundred and four point three percent. In March, marking the highest annual rate since 1991, according to data released by the National Institute for Statistics and Census. Uh, let's see. Mm. It says, I'm going to jump down to the right here. It says, the highest increase and the biggest influence on the overall index came from the cost of education, which saw a month-to-month -month surge of 29.1%. The massive increase was attributed to the start of the school year. It says clothing, as well as food and non-alcoholic beverages, where the, height, where the height was caused mainly by the cost of meat, dairy products, and eggs, increased by 9.4 and 9.3% percent month on month respectively also due to a breakout of avian flu in argentina prices for chicken and eggs soar over 25 percent says argentina has been among the countries with the highest inflation rates for several years in a row all right uh and it says right here it says argentina all right, right here on this little spot, it says Argentina running out of space to store banknotes because the people are having to spend so much money, so much amount of cash on little things that hey, they ain't running out of space. It's causing the inflation. All right, and this is uh something that's going to come. So like this is something that's going to come to Babylon the Great. All right. These times, like they're having, is going to come to Babylon the Great. All right, that's why you see what then the eggs go up in Babylon the Great, the gas prices go up. All right, or uh, rent is up. All right, life is expensive as hell now. All right, and, and it is going to come to a point where inflation is going to be so so high, the dollar is not going to be worth nothing. You see, the other countries uh don't even want to deal with the dollar no more. All right, then this is just a prelude what's going to hap happen in Babylon the Great, a.k.a. the United States of America. All right. So, um, man, just, you know, just seeing things like this, just, you know, get brothers in the mind state to to gear up and, and be locked in in the spirit and to pray for uh, grace and mercy from your how about shimmy outside. Cause time's about to get hard, man. They're going to get hard. All right. Let's grab a couple pre's. Second Timothy chapter three and verse one. This know also that in the last days perilous times shall come. All right. This is things that's written in the Bible. In these last days, which we are definitely in. All right. Perilous times shall come. All right. <clears throat> Matter of fact, let's let's get let's get what the perilous is real quick. All right, let's get that. All right, 
like the scripture says, uh, perilous times are going to come, man. It's uh, lucky. All right, this is uh, in the Greek, G5467, chap, uh, cow apples. It says, hard to do, to take, to approach, hard to bear, troublesome, dangerous, harsh, fierce, savage. These are the, the times that are going to come in the last days, man. Savage, fierce, harsh times, hard to do, hard to take. Hard to bear. All right. These times are gonna get so hard, it's gonna be hard to bear, man. Just living. All right. That's what the scriptures say in the last days. Peril that's what the word perilous means. All right, it's gonna be hard to bear in these times. The second is 15 to 19. A man shall have no pity upon his neighbor, but shall destroy their houses with the sword. And spoil their goods because of the lack of bread and for great tribulation. All right, their food is going to be scarce. The food is going to be uh, hard to obtain. It's going to be so expensive. All right, life is just going to be uh, hard to bear, as it says, man, in perilous time. All right, and what's going to happen? Men, all right, are going to do what they have to do to feed their families. All right, they're going to kill for food, man. Hey, when you're hungry, that bring out a different beast in people. All right? People are going to damn rob, steal, and kill for food, man. All right? It says a man should have no pity upon his neighbor. Ain't going to be no pity. A man not going to give a damn if you and your family ate. He going to be trying to feed him and his family. It says, but shall destroy their houses with the sword. Yeah, with the modern day sword is the gun and any other weapon, killing instrument. And spoil their goods because of the lack of bread and for great tribulation. So food is going to be scarce and high. All right. That inflation is going to come, going to hit. All right. And it's going to cause people to what? Uh, kill for food. It said, because of lack of bread and for great tribulation. These are the times that's going to uh, hit Babylon the Great. How do we know that? These things are written in the scriptures. The scriptures ain't failed not once, right? All these prophecies have come to pass, and some more still to come. And these are one of them that's going to come. It's Matthew 24 and 21. For there shall be great tribulation such as was not since the beginning of the world to this time, no, nor ever shall be. So these times are going to be so harsh that uh, it was not seen since the beginning of the world. And the world has seen harsh tribulation. You had the flood, all right? You had 70 AD, all right? You had uh, the transatlantic slave trade. You had harsh times in the world before, man. But what? These times is going to be great tribulation such as was not seen, man. And it's a uh, it's a low-key scary thing to think about these things, man. Because we've been in Babylon the Great so long. Everything is easy, ready, available. You want something to eat, all you got to do is go to the store real quick. You know, got EBT, <laughs> you know. Things have been uh, easy in Babylon the Great. You ain't got to hunt for your food. You want some chicken, you go in the store and get some chicken. Of course, you got to uh, get the money to get it. You can't, You got to work, all right? But uh, tribulation is going to be such as was not since the beginning of the world. That's why, man, we got to stay prayed up, stay in the spirit, stay putting our best foot forward. So Yahweh by Shimei Ashai can have mercy on us and our household and all the brethren in their household to um, maintain, all right, and, and survive and eat during these hard times, man, these harsh times. Scripture tell you in Jeremiah that the Lord said what his servants going to eat. 
So that gives us the faith to uh, uh to go hard in the truth and do what we need to do to uh to be safe during these perilous times because these times are going to come. This is Psalms chapter 9 and verse 9. The Lord also will be a refuge for the oppressed, a refuge in times of trouble. Yeah, a time of trouble is coming, and we want Yahweh Bashem Yahshai to be our refuge, to be our uh, rock, to be our safety net. Because he controls everything, man. The Lord is going to uh, hide and shield and protect his elect. All right? In the time of Jacob's trouble. Psalms chapter 9 and verse 10. And they that know thy name will put their trust in thee. Yeah, brothers that's praising, honoring, and worshiping the names of Yahweh. All right, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai is going to put their trust in the Heavenly Father. All right, and that putting that trust in you, in the Lord is what you're not going to take that, ch that chip. All right, you're not going to commit uh, cannibalism. All right, you're still not going to eat uh, 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 abominable foods. All right, in those times when food is scarce, you're going to trust in Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh so you got to uh, uh, build that trust up and start trusting and depending on him and knowing that he is now. So in those times, your faith, Yahweh Bashim Yahshua put the Rakakwa Dash on you, the Holy Spirit, and you feel your faith to be at an all-time high. It says, For thou, Yahweh Bashim Yahshua, has not forsaken them that seek thee. So we got to seek Yahweh Bashim Yahshua, all right, early. Seek, seek him now. Why you still can go to the store? Why you still can go get something to drink? Why you still living inside of a uh, uh, got a roof over your head? All right. The Lord ain't gonna not forsake them that seek Him. Seek Him while everything is all good. The Lord gonna remember. All right. You seeking Him while uh, while everything is still intact. He gonna be like, you know what? This man, this woman, this family was seeking me with everything all good. So when everything all bad, I'm going to be their refuge. They've been seeking me. They know my name. They put their trust in me. I'm going to shield them. I'm going to protect them. All right. So I just wanted to go in on that, that article. All right. How that inflation in Latin America is past 100%. All right. These harsh times are perilous times. Are right, coming to Babylon the Great, and we're going to depend on your how about Shem Yahweh Shai, all right, to get us through them things. All right, call Allah your how about Shem Yahweh Shai. Shalom.